what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Ovens Garage. Today we're going to be doing a different project in the Ovens Garage. We're going to be installing a radon mitigation system, a new sump pit cover in our house here. So as you can see here, this is the uh, current sump pit and floor drain system that's in this house. This is a 1960s house. So originally this house did not come with a sump pit and it was installed after the fact. So the way they installed it, this sump pit is um, you have the sump coming out and it goes up and out of the house. And then in the winter time, because we're here in Winnipeg, it gets very cold. The way they decided to route it uh, was in the winter time, you shut this valve and open this valve. And there's a corrugated pipe that flows between the sump pit and this existing floor drain. Um, and in the winter time, it'll pump, if you have any water, it'll pump into the floor drain in the house. So in the floor drain, uh, all the weeping tiles flow into the floor drain and they don't actually flow into the sump pit because that's the way they did it back then. So if there's ever an overflow or backup from the city, in theory, it would overflow into your sump pit. And if you have it routed correctly, it would flow out of the house. But uh, what we're going to do in this video is install this uh, sump pit cover, which is going to be radon sealed. Um, and then we're also going to install the radon system, which is just consists of this radon fan and a couple other small parts we'll show you. And we're going to flow three inch from the lid up to the fan. And then we're going to go four inch um, up and out of the house. We're just gonna run it up and out of the house between these two rafters or floor joists. And we're gonna draw a big hole, four inch hole in the side of the house. So just looking into the floor drain, you can see a couple of the existing weeping tile holes that flow into the floor drain. And the floor drain, you can't quite see it, but it's beneath that 90 that runs out to the city discharge. So in theory, if this ever backed up, it would go back up to that corrugated pipe flow into the sump pit and then as long as your sump pit level yeah there's the from the floor drain as long as your sump pit level comes up and turns your sump pump on it would pump it out as long as these valves are routed properly <clears throat> so you see in the sump pit there's just a bunch of drilled holes on the sides of the uh, the sump pit basket or basin I guess they call it there's no weeping tile holes so if you're gonna put a radon mitigation system into your um, sump pit basket you need to make sure either it has drilled holes in the basket like this or the the weeping um, holes that run into the basket so in installing the radon system we we need to make sure that this whole thing is airtight so that lid is going to be sealed to the, the concrete floor and that provides a good seal with all those fittings and now because these two are connected we need to have a airtight seal on this floor drain so we're gonna, I'm gonna be replacing this floor drain and this is just the metal frame of it. We're gonna knock that out and install this thing called a, a drainger. And this has, this outside rim gets concreted into the floor and then this is just the, the lid cover. And so if you have water that goes down, there's a ball on the bottom side that'll prevent gases from coming out. But if you have water that drains in, it'll still be able to drain because um, the ball will move. So here's the Air Things uh, radon detector. And when we first moved into this house about a year ago, we installed a couple of the individual pucks and had them read for about four or five months, had it sent to a lab, came back around like 115 becquerels. And I decided to get one of these and just move it around the house to, to different places and see what it was reading. Um, it seemed to match for the most part where I put the puck and then I decided to move it closer to the sump pit and this floor drain. And a few days it had actually spiked up over 300. Um, but you can see the one day average is 173 and the seven day average is right now 179. But a few weeks ago it was around like 250 for the, uh, the long term average or the seven day average. So the goal with this is after we install the radon system is to have it lowered um, significantly lower so somewhere below uh, 50 would be nice uh, an example of this in my parents house 
before they had a radon system installed, it was up over 800 becquerels. And now that they have a radon system installed, it's uh, down below 10 becquerels for the long-term average. And just to note, the current uh, standards from Health Canada is to have below 200 becquerels per meters cubed. Um, if you have a long-term long average that's higher than that, then um, you should try and address uh, your radon issues in your house. So this is below that right now, but it's kind of right on the threshold. So we'll see after we install the system if we can get it uh, nice and low, and then we don't have to worry about it. We keep running faster and faster. Okay, so we've installed the base of the sump pit here. Ended up using this black polyurethane um, sealant for the bottom. Just put a bead on, along the bottom, and then we top conned uh, all the holes. Ended up breaking two of the holes. What we ended up doing to make sure that we didn't break all of them was we just used a, a ratchet and kind of pushed down to relieve the pressure a bit, because it was a bit lower on this side. Other thing that we did off camera is we drilled this eighth inch hole just above the outlet of the sump. And so that prevents the airlock in the pump. It didn't have one, but in the instructions for the pump, it said to drill an eighth inch hole. So we drilled an eighth inch hole there um, before the check valve. All right, so before we put the lid on, I just want to show you a couple of things. There's three different wires that are coming out the side. We've drilled a couple extra holes in this grommet, and one of them is going to be the LED. So we put a ring of uh, an, a strip of LEDs and just zip tied them underneath the lip of the sump pit basin. And then the other uh, cable that comes out of here, one of them is for the sump pump, and then the other cable is for this flood level uh, alarm. So that how this works is this float, as soon as the water level gets to, you gotta set it whatever level you want the alarm to go off. As soon as this float flips upside down, the alarm goes off. So I'll give you an example here, it's down. So this one, as soon as the float goes up, then the alarm goes off and then that'll be mounted to the wall. It gives an audible alarm and a visual alarm. And then once it's down to a good level, then it shuts off. All right, so we're at the end of stage one and day one here. We have the full sump pit cover uh, fully installed now, but everything is cemented in place. We tested both um, winter mode and summer mode for pumping out of the sump pit, and there's no leaks. So at this point, the sump pump portion of the plumbing is done, and the lid is fully installed. So tomorrow we'll work on installing the um, radon mitigation fan so it's going to come three inch out of there that screws in um, to there and then it's going to come up to the fan's going to sit about here and then we're going to go up over up in between the floor joists and then out the house so that's tomorrow's project um, we also tested this uh, the flood level alarm so we'll probably need to mount that tomorrow as well. All right, we're beginning work on the radon mitigation system. This uh, three inch threads right into the fitting that comes with the lid. And then we have to go from uh, ABS to PVC and then we're gonna use PVC for all of the piping and fittings, the piping and fittings that go from uh, this up and out. So we're just gonna measure up 
to where we want to put our radon fan. And then we'll go angle, angle, up between the floor uh, joists. And then uh, we're going to have to go rent a big drill to get through the foundation that's right there. Okay, so we're just at the outside of the house. And what we did was we rented a SDS hammer uh, coring the drill. And we uh, drilled through the foundation. It was about 10 inches to get through there. It took us like half an hour or so, an hour to drill through. And then we uh, stuck in our four inch uh, pipe from the outside and we'll make our connections on the inside before we uh, make this permanent. We'll just caulk around here. And then at the end of this, we're gonna have a critter guard. Um, and on the inside where the gap is, we'll just spray foam on the inside. We keep running faster and faster Okay, so we just wrapped up the installation of the radon mitigation system. I'll just walk you through it real quick. So we have the three inch pipe coming out of the sump pit cover, comes up to the radon fan, goes from three inch to four inch on the bottom of the fan, and then four inch out of the fan, goes up and over between the floor joists, and then out. There, we just spray foamed uh, after the pipe was inserted. So we install our manometer. It has a tube that goes from the suction side of the fan. And you can see as long as there's a, a difference in the level between the two sides, that tells you that your fan's working. We got our level alarm mounted on the wall. It has a test button on it. And then we also mounted our air things radon detector and it is uh, we just reset it so we'll get our first reading tomorrow for one day average and then we'll come back in seven days and see what the seven day average is and then the all-time average is just at the top so the last thing we need to do as a part of this system because these two are connected is we need to install the dranger so i'm going to make that a separate video but i'll show you what it looks like at the end uh we got to rip this out and install our dranger because it's uh it's sucking air from here so you can see if I put something over it it just sucks it right down so um, we'll make sure our dranger is nice airtight seal and any other cracks in the floor that we can see seal up and one more thing um, can't remember if I mentioned it or not we installed a light so you can peer into the inspection cover and look and see what your water level is I'm also going to get another piece of plexiglass and just cut out another viewing port so that way you can easily look in um, to the viewing port over here because there's a pipe that goes across. Here's the finished product on the outside. Okay, so I just want to show you the finished product now that we have the Dranger uh, floor drain installed. I've fully uh, replace that and uh, complete a separate video if you want to watch that video otherwise i've concreted that in uh, repainted the floor here a little bit and um, i also got that piece of plexiglass installed so i can peer in and see the water level in the pump a little bit better with the light on so that completely wraps up the radon mitigation system and sump pit lid installation and our one final look at our radon reading. You can see our one day average is five becquerels per cubic meter. And right now our long-term average, it's been going probably about five or six days is 15 becquerels per meters cubed. So we have significantly dropped our radon levels much below um, what the recommended action levels are and uh, very happy with the results. So if you're looking to install a radon mitigation uh, system or a sump pit cover similar to this. Um, hopefully this helps and thanks for watching. Cheers.